The head crabs of Half-Life are truly fascinating organisms. Their representation, primarily how they changed from Half-Life 1 to 2, is what inspired this entire video in the first place. You see, in Half-Life 1, there is a single type of head crab presented, and what appears to be a mother head crab in the form of a gonark. And while we don't know much about how a head crab changes into a gonark, what we do know is that upon the head crab's introduction into Earth's ecosystems, over the course of 20 years during Gordon Freeman's absence, they rapidly diversified into three groups. The first group is the common head crab, which has not seen much change from Half-Life 1 other than the upgrade in graphics, of course. The head crab is a fairly basic parasitoid organism which shares a distinct resemblance with, and I quote, raw chicken. It has what appears to be four legs, but upon a more detailed view, their whole body can be supported with only their two back legs, likely an evolutionary adaptation to improve their effectiveness at latching on to prey. You see, the head crab primarily attempts to latch onto the head, or wherever the brain function of the host is, and simultaneously take control of it and presumably feed off of it. This creates a form of zombie, which, as opposed to this name, likely does not attack to feed, and rather attacks to either aid its fellow head crabs or attacks territorially. The latter is most likely due to the fact that a head crab zombie can be completely isolated with no food and be completely sustained with its host alone. The territorial tendencies of the head crab zombie are probably an evolutionary instinct developed to protect the host body. To latch onto a host, they use their beaks, sharp, tooth-like appendages that appear to dig into a victim's skull. Interestingly, when head crabs are without beaks, they are essentially functionless, as they apparently cannot merge with a host when de-beaked. This may imply that the beaks hold a form of venom that allows the victim to be taken over, potentially paralyzing them. A grim fact about head crabs is that they seemingly have the ability to keep their hosts alive as they are latched on. This likely means that all hosts remain conscious, with their cries being able to be heard, although obscured by head crab noises.